Hey guys, welcome back to Container Crops, the Scaredy Cat Gardener. It's overcast and kind of rainy today, so this is going to be a very short video, but it's a beautiful day here in Zone 7B. Thank you all so much for stopping by. Today, we're going to be talking about those squash bugs. An easy couple of tricks to get rid of them, and it's best to do it at the first sight of any evidence that you have an issue. I'm going to show you two tricks that I've learned that have helped me and this year I have no squash bugs. So let's go ahead and get started. Show off your fantasy reality, whoa, that's yours but I'll keep doing mine. You'll be living your good life, catch a glimpse from the outside all the time. We are back, but before we get started, if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification bell so you won't miss anything. Join me over on Facebook, my Facebook group, Container Crops, and you can always find me on IG, the Scaredy Cat Gardener. Okay, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you make it to the end of it, which I hope you do, and share it out. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into what we need to do for our squash bugs. Okay, so these squash bugs, they tear up our plants, they make these holes in it, and they can destroy a whole crop really, really quickly. So before I get into the two tricks for getting rid of the squash bugs, organically by the way, <laughs> let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of clips, you need to see what the squash bug looks like and what you're looking for in order to take care of the problem. Okay, in the first clip, we have the squash bug on the left, stink bug on the right. Now the stink bug can be a pest, but there are some that are not pests. Make sure you can identify the actual squash bug. This is an adult squash bug on the left of your screen. Now in this clip, we have on the left, again, a adult squash bug actually laying the eggs. And on the right, we have the squash bug that has actually laid the egg. Now here you have the actual squash bug that has hatched. So that's what eats the holes. Here you have the eggs that also do massive damage as well. So just make sure you familiarize yourself and know the difference. Here we have the adult squash bug and here we have the cluster of eggs. So one of the biggest things about squash bugs is it's not so much the bug. Yes, it's destroying the plant, but it's the eggs on the back because the eggs have to hatch before the bugs can take over the plant. So you want to make sure you get those eggs. They'll come, they lay their eggs, and the damage isn't done until those eggs are laid. If you touch the eggs, which my disclaimer, I have not, but I have someone that has touched them for me, they're hard, kind of, I want to say crispy, but that's because I cook. I won't say crispy, but they're just a hard texture. Uh, so you'll know, and they are always in a cluster. One of an easy, quick trick that you can do is use a simple lint filter. Lint filter. Roll it over those eggs and they come right off. No damage to the plant or anything. Try not to rub really hard so that you won't damage your plant. But if you get a little hole there now, it's better you make that hole than they make the hole. So you can do that. You can also, if you actually see the bugs, you can roll the lint roller over them that way as well. Now, I'll be honest. The first year that I saw squash bugs, what another thing that I did, which I don't necessarily recommend, but it is what I did. It worked and my plant survived. I saw them. I saw the eggs on the back. I simply got a garbage bag or I shouldn't say a garbage bag, but a bag that you would get from um, the grocery store, the little plastic bags. I opened it up wide, held it up under the leaf, and I cut that leaf off, threw it in the trash. So <laughs> I don't necessarily recommend that method, but it did work. So 
this little rolling pin and I got this from the Dollar Tree when it was a Dollar Tree but Dollar 25 that's not bad it was a two pack and the paper peels off easily so I would actually start peeling the paper off of it first so that you won't have to have this in your hand a lot once you roll it over the and I don't have any in my garden right now so I can't physically show you but just take the tip of the paper up a little bit and then roll it over that way you can just go ahead and roll it and peel it right off right off and toss it away put it in a bag tie the bag up put it in the trash you're done that's tip number one now tip number two very similar concept is tip number one it's actually packaging tape now you can use masking tape you can use um Oh, what's the other tape called? Duct tape. You can use the duct tape, masking tape, but those are pretty thick and they can damage your plant. What you want to do is get a piece and if you can just tear it off, which I didn't bring my scissors out here, but okay. You want to tear it off and you can take it and wrap it around a couple of fingers, just like that. Just like that. Let me get something to tear this off with so I can show you properly. Okay, now you just want to take it, wrap it around your fingers, take your tape, tear the tape off you have it on your fingers then you could just go along and pick the little eggs up it won't damage your plant as long as you don't do it too hard and make a hole in it they come right up and I like the packaging tape as opposed to duct tape or masking tape because it is the texture of the uh, packing tape does allow for you to do this without damaging your plant then simply put that tape in a plastic bag throw it out voila if you get those eggs as soon as you see any sign and if you're growing squash or anything that's going to create your squash bugs come outside check your leaves this is why I don't have any this year so far thank you <laughs> Because I come out every day, I look on the back of my leaves, I look for the holes, I look for it. So if I see any sign of anything, it's out of here. So be proactive in your garden when it comes to pests. And you might find that you may not have as many as you thought you had. Or you can get them under control before they control you. Okay guys, so that's going to do it for today. I hope that this will help you all with any squash bugs problems that you have in your garden. And like I said before, be proactive, be proactive. And again, if you got anything out of this video, give it a like and share it out. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. I really do appreciate each and every one of you all. I hope you have a blessed, amazing day today, and I will see you next time. And until then, remember, anywhere you can sit a pot, you can grow a plant. And I'll see you on the trail. You'll be living your good life. Catch a glimpse from the outside all the time.